Hey, welcome back to some World of War Warcraft with uh, me, Foolish Mortal 42. Um, took a little bit of a break, um, so um, looked at uh, some more pets. Um, I'm not for sure. What, I'm still not for sure which one I'm gonna get. Um, I mean, I'm enjoying the Ravager pretty good. He's, he's kind of cute. He's growing on me. Um, but we'll, we'll kind of see what we're going to look into in a little bit. But I mentioned uh, a few videos ago that I uh, started a new job uh, working at a nursing rehab facility. Uh, of, uh, I'm a nursing. I don't think I ever mentioned that, that I'm, I'm a nurse. So. So yeah, uh, getting used to that. Uh, it's, I've been on orientation, uh, working days, which uh, I'm not a big fan of. I uh, don't like day shift that much. But I'll be back uh, doing night shift. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to uh, uh, continue doing some recording. There's another blue flutter. Smack Serenity Dust. I'm not sure what that is. <clears throat> I think that's actually the, um, if I remember my research, it, it's like a spellcast interrupt. So, uh, yeah, that, that might be something I, I might look into getting. Um, probably would come in really handy for instances and stuff. But uh, I did learn the um, um, oh gosh, what is it? The uh, uh, these ravagers they get a um, a special ability as they level up. Um, that uh, it's a um, a damage debuff. Uh, it causes the target to uh, take extra critical damage, I think, or increases uh, um, like the critical chance on a on a target. Um, so it's kind of like a a rogue's ability. I can't remember what that is, but. So that will uh, actually increase our DPS uh, onto uh, mobs. So I, that's actually pretty a pretty decent uh, ability. So I'll, I'll probably be keeping this, uh, or at least for a little while. Plenty of skins. So what I'll probably do on my uh, um, leather working stuff. Oh, nice. Um, is uh, oh, I don't know. Um, probably save up quite a bit of leather and uh, and level that up off screen. Uh, I don't think you guys would just want to watch me. Uh, sitting in one place and um, crafting something. Oh. I don't have a target. Okay. 
so now we've got to uh, find all of these sand pairs. If you had herbalism, I think these would pop up. Um, or uh, maybe treasure finding on a, um, a dwarf, if they've still got that. I don't even know if they've still got that. Oh, the uh, album that we're listening to now, um, oh gosh, uh, I can't remember the name of it, it's, um, um, um <laughs> my blank just went, uh, or my brain just went blank, um, it's, um, from, um, I want to say, Final Fantasy 7? I'm not I'm not a hundred percent on that. Or it's a remix from uh, from OC Remix, of course. Well, only two more. I'll keep scouring and uh, I like to try and turn in quests in groups if I can. Uh, it's just an old habit of mine. Oh, we're aggroed. Oh. So these, uh, these Ravagers have a slightly different, uh, skin, um, So yeah, that one looks... I like that one a little bit better. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to get two turn-ins here, and that might put us up to 13. Let's see. Each day is a blessing. Uh, I'm definitely going to take that upgrade. Be kind to those less fortunate. The Naru have not forgotten and we us. get a choice of four things that we're not going to use, so uh, whichever one is going to sell life. for more. <clears throat> so we leveled up to 13 um, and got no new abilities. So. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> All prices here are reasonable. So that's non-stat food, so we'll sell that. Sell that. We'll put that on. Uh, well, that is marginally better than the uh, Kirk and Hyde vest, or at least it looks a little bit better.
So now we've got to <clears throat> go kill this uh, uh, guy over here. But there is another quest on the way that we can do. So these uh, Walkian um, or these aren't um, oh gosh what are these things called um, anyway uh, these are a different tribe um, so they don't like us so they have taken uh, Princess Steel Pine hostage help me the Bristolim captured me and are planning to sacrifice me to their foul gods High Chief, High Chief Bristolim holds the key that opens the cage. I mean, seriously, we can't, like, cut that open. No. Uh, so... And then we get rewards that we're not going to use. But. So basically, on this one, it took me forever to figure it out, because I kept looking for him. Um, um, you just have to kill these over, like, Until he uh, spawns, basically. But at least we're getting decent experience. Yeah, this is definitely the uh, Final Fantasy VII uh, 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 album from OC Remix. I think. I was expecting, and we found a chest. All right, everybody, cross your fingers for a green. No, fail. Return to Stillpan. All right. Um, releasing Princess Stillpan from her cage, uh, and then speak to the ambassador at Bloodwatch. Okay, so we don't have to uh, uh, go back to Stillpan. Oh, thank goodness. I really don't want to have to walk all the way back down there. So we get to, uh, 
bust up some more Nagas up here. <clears throat> they, uh, they do play fairly prominently in, uh, uh certain, uh, quest lines and So we pulled aggro there, um, the Ravager's uh, focus was a little low, and he, I think his growl was on cooldown. Uh, so w basically what I did was I uh, did a little bit too much damage before he could get like a solid grip on uh, aggro there, and uh, we pulled him off, but it wasn't no big deal. But yeah, uh, as a DPS class, uh, Controlling threat is something uh, you should really learn really, really early. Especially if you're going to be doing any kind of dungeoning, uh, raiding especially. Uh, how to avoid uh, getting too much threat. I know a lot of people, it's like, oh, well, it's the, you know, it's the tank's job to maintain threat. Well, you know, it's your responsibility to make sure that uh, uh, you can stay alive too, so. So training, um, kind of learning how to do that uh, early on. Right. And there we go. Oops, I didn't realize he was fighting. And that's something that <laughs> it's you know kind of hard. Uh, when you're trying to comment and you know play the game at the same time it's uh, you know uh, pretty distracting and uh, then you've got your timers and everything you know trying to keep it all you know about the same uh, time limit and stuff like that so, so hopefully uh, you guys won't see me uh, uh, accidentally die, <laughs> at least until uh, much later. That's one of the reasons why I picked Hunter is, uh, um, you know, if it looks like something's going bad or I get a bunch of ads, I can just, uh, you know, hightail it out of there. Um, I'll go down here and uh, turn these in and we'll call that a video or turn this one in I think yeah and then we will uh, just walk up the path and uh, get to uh, blood watch there blessings upon me okay so we're gonna get uh, Good chunk of stamina. It'll come in handy. Uh, a hand of Argus soldier is many things. Obedient, brave, intelligent, and above all, honorable. You may yet exhibit some of these traits, Hunter. Uh, report to Exarch Admentius at Bloodwatch if you're still interested. Okay, we can do Be that. Be kind, Lord Bless. Alrighty, and I'm going to go on and call that a video. Uh, if you're liking the content, go on and give that a give it me a thumbs up uh, subscribe if you want to and uh, I will uh, probably just go and walk up here off screen and uh, and I will see you when I get up there all right